the one thing I think is different, I, I think our field is filled with people that are amateur psychologists and amateur sociologists and so forth. And that's fine. I mean, it, it's, it's, they do what they do and that's how it works for them. I don't think they are communication theorists. They are psychological theories of communication. Uh, and so I don't think our field is ever, it's treated as if in a sense of being ecumenical, that it is somehow done something good, rather than defined itself as having a set of theories, which it does have, that are communication theories of psychology and of sociology that are based actually in the interaction process. And I, I think we have failed the, the society for not doing that. The fact that the society thinks psychologically is not neutral. It has tremendous political impacts. It has changed the way we think of ourselves as a human being. It changed the way business functions. I think we have not only a reason disciplinarily to do it, I think we have an ethical responsibility to develop a very different way of explaining phenomena. Uh, and we haven't done it. We don't have the courage in many cases to do it. That we are simply not going to... It's not that you don't borrow it. I mean, I think I take a lot of things from a lot of disciplines. But there are sociologists that were communication theorists, and there are sociologists who aren't. There are psychologists that are communication theorists and ones that aren't. I mean, what makes mine consistent is that I have found across disciplines those people who are interested in developing a communication explanation. That is, how do our interactional processes form the kind of people we are, the social structures we have? How, how is the economics itself a form of communication? Market economy is a political voting system, right? It's not just an economic system. How do we think this through? And so I think it's a matter of commitment. And we've tended to disregard some of our best communication theorists. Barnett Pierce's work as an example, I think is fantastic communication theory. But you don't see it in our textbooks. It's sort of marginalized because the psychologists rule the interpersonal textbooks. The sociologists rule the mass communication textbooks. And so we haven't really here tried to think it through as to what we owe society as a discipline and how we might be able to attack and deal with these social problems.